Hey there everyone, this is Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back today for another Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing. This week has been the first full week of spring. It's a time of year that I think we associate with birds, a lot more birds than any other time of the year. Birds singing, bird watching. So I thought it'd be a good time to share a bird themed shoebox that I've packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl. And it has plenty of birds and bird singing and bird watching inside. I decorated the lid a little bit simply this time with the Christmas card that I've given her with my photo and letter inside. And I did that because it had a bird on it, a beautiful dove, and it says, Peace on Earth. And when she opens her box and looks inside, that's what she'll see. First out of the box is Mac. Mac is a cardinal Thai beanie baby. And I chose Mac not only because he's so pretty in red, but because I live in St. Louis and our baseball team is the St. Louis Cardinals. And I gave this young lady a second stuffy. And this bird is a red-breasted robin by the name of Early, as in early bird, I guess. And I thought she was really pretty. She's got a funny little fidget toy that kind of looks like a worm, bird food, <laughs> and you just twist it and turn it and fidget with it and squish it into different shapes. I got this recently on Shein, I think. In case this young lady would like to take up a little bit of bird watching in her country, I gave her a pair of binoculars. I got these uh, Walgreens after Christmas, I think, when they were 50% off. And it comes in a nice case that can slip on a belt. And I think there's a cleaning cloth inside as well. It's a pretty decent pair of binoculars. And I think this is prob will probably be her wow gift. She's got yet another bird, but this one's a little bit different. It's a singing and dancing motion activated bird. It's a blue jay and it does have an on off switch. He moves his head and each time something passes over the sensor here, it sings and chirps. It does take two AAA batteries. Uh, there's a pair inside the bird and I've given her a pair of replacement batteries. And I also cut from the packaging the illustrated instructions on how to change those batteries. Now she does need a screwdriver of which I have given her this handy dandy little key ring screwdriver that I got on Temu recently. I bought a five pack of these for like a dollar fifty eight something crazy like that and has the perfect size screwdriver for her to open up the compartment to change the batteries in her singing bird. I like including a craft, particularly in the 10 to 14 year old boxes, whenever I can fit one. And this one fits easily because it's so flat and compact. It's a little bead kit that I got recently at Hobby Lobby on clearance for 99 cents. She's got another craft, sort of. It's a sewing kit that I've put together for her. 
and packed it into a zippered cosmetic bag. I'm not going to empty everything out in here, but in a nutshell, there are sewing needles, an assortment of threads, seam ripper, needle threader, thimble, a couple of zippers, snaps, buttons, straight pins, and scissors in here. I think that covers just about everything, but if you'd like to see exactly what I include in my sewing kits, I've done a video on that and I will leave a link to it in the video description below. She's got a pencil pouch filled with much needed school supplies, an assortment of pencils, pens, erasers, different kinds of erasers, a couple of pencil sharpeners, a six inch ruler. It's clear, so I'm not sure you can see it through the bag. And I'm gonna pull out one item, a special pencil, this cute one with a bird topper eraser on it. I got this recently at Walmart. It was in a big package of teacher reward pencils. This one says you did it on it. It was on clearance. I think for a dollar fifty and it had a ton of pencils and erasers in it. And the actual pencil pouch and six inch ruler were a contribution by Angie last year. She's also got a colorful pack of gel pens in six bright assorted colors. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Found the perfect coloring book recently at the Dollar Tree called Birds. And it's got really beautiful pictures of all different birds for this young lady to enjoy coloring. I thought it was a very pretty coloring book. And to color in her coloring book, she's got a pack of markers, which were contributed by Joan Cowan last year. This is another one of those shoe boxes that I have had packed or started packing last year. So there are several things in it that were contributed last year. She can also color in her coloring book with those gel pens. She's got a game of Uno Go. That comes from the Dollar Tree. And she's got a t-shirt. This one I picked up at the Children's Place on sale for $2.45. I had been eyeing this shirt because it had this beautiful hummingbird on the front. And the graphic has gold in it on this pretty peach colored t-shirt. I've got a lot of peach going on in this shoebox. Um, her sewing kit pouch is peach and her shirt is peach. She's got an assortment of hair accessories that will coordinate with her shirt. Three scrunchies, a headband, some hair elastics, and some barrettes. She's got a peach colored wide tooth comb. I got that on Shein and a double-sided compact mirror. This one has peach tulips on the front and a little teddy bear. It's really nice quality. I got that from Shein as well. She's got a toothbrush with a cap, a few emery boards, nail clippers, and a mending kit. The mending kit was contributed by Joan, as was the this long slender bag, which is great for toothbrushes and putting together little hygiene kits. She has a set of six reusable menstrual pads with the bamboo charcoal liner and a wet bag. And the print is the bird print. Actually, the pads are three different prints, including the bird print on two of them. And I slipped inside the bag four clothespins. These are the white craft clothespins. I got these recently on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I thought the white will make a prettier clothespin. And I also slipped inside the bag just a couple of big safety pins just in case she has issues with it staying put. And then I laminated some care instructions, how to wear and wash 
her pads. So hopefully this young lady can go to school without interruption because of her period, as we often hear that many of these young ladies don't have access to or affordable feminine products. So they have to stay home during that time period and miss school. So hopefully this will help her out. And I've given her two pairs of underwear, one beige and one white, and a couple pairs of socks, basic white anklet style, and a really colorful pair of super funky little mismatched socks that I got recently at the Dollar Tree. I think these are perfect for a 10 to 14 year old. She's got another organza bag filled with mostly jewelry, but a few other things like a lip balm, a lightweight whistle, it's an aluminum whistle. I got that from Amazon. A really pretty dainty necklace. I got this quite some time ago on Shein. It's a hummingbird. It says, life is beautiful. Make a wish and put on your necklace. Just as a hummingbird encounters beauty with each new flower, you are on a path that has so many wonderful things to offer. Wear your necklace as a reminder to enjoy every moment. I thought that was lovely. Also in the bag is a set of eight really colorful seed bead bracelets that I am in love with. I found these on Shein for a buck. And I'm sure I paid much less than that with the discounts and rewards, but I think she'll love those. And also from Shein, I'm telling you, Shein has taken the place of a lot of things I used to get on Amazon or even Walmart or Dollar Tree. She's got a pair of Blue Jay earrings, little stud earrings with the rhinestones. I just poked them through a foam heart. And the last thing in there is a painted wooden cross from Hobby Lobby that I added a colorful cord to, the cord I got recently on Tamu. So a little bit skinnier, well, it's a lot skinnier than I've used in the past, but I think I like it better for the necklaces. She's got a jump rope for a little outside activity. And three bounce balls in some pretty colors. She's got a peach composition notebook. That came from Dollar General. After back to school, I think I got it on clearance. And a matching peach solar calculator, also from Dollar General. It was on clearance, I think it was a dollar last year after back to school. She's got a jumbo emoji eraser that I'm just leaving in the packaging just to keep it clean. It didn't fit in the pencil pouch and um, sometimes it's nice to get some things in packaging. She's got a stubby orange highlighter. And one of my favorite things in her shoebox is this inspirational journal that I picked up recently at the Dollar Tree. Denise from D. Rogers recently did a Dollar Tree haul that included this journal. And when I saw it, I knew I had to have it for this shoebox, so I went on the hunt. I was so excited to find it because it has birds on the cover and a beautiful psalm. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. Psalm 28, 7. And the inside pages also have little birds. So I thought that was perfect for this shoebox. While we're on the subject of prayer, I've given her a, a prayer card. This is one of those ones that you color in yourself and she's got markers and gel pens to do that. And it happens to have birds on it. And a lovely passage from Exodus, the Lord is my strength and song. And I love that. To write in her journal, I've given her a couple of novelty pens. This is one of those cute ones from 
Valentine's Day clearance that each time you click it, the saying inside changes. So I think she'll enjoy that. And it's in peach. And the other one is probably the last of my funny googly eye pens that I got from Dollar General a long time ago. And I, I, I had a bunch of them. Just got a package of make your own gem stickers that I got at Dollar Tree for 50 cents. They were clearing these out, I think, at one point in time. And some more stickers, some cartoon birds, glitter hearts, some really cute, small, colorful birds, and some parrots, like photographs of parrots in sticker form. And the last thing in her box is a pretty tropical print tote bag that folds into itself. And it's got colors of peach in it. So she can tote all her items home or to school. So that is the birds themed shoe box that I've packed to bless a 10 to 14 year old girl. I hope you enjoyed this one and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoe boxes this year. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button before you leave. Comment. I always enjoy reading them. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye now.